Hello everybody on YouTube and all the NFL YouTube prognosticators and NFL fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren, back here once again, giving you my thoughts about week 13 and, and my picks for week 14 for the 2019 NFL season. Check them out. First off, what I did last week, not nearly that great. I went 6-10 and 10 overall, meh, for straight up. Against the spread, it was better, it was 7-9. and nine. And over and under, it went 7-9 in that as well. And because of that, overall, the straight up over year, for the year so far, 98-78 and 1 overall. ATS, straight 94 and 117 and 1 overall. And over and under, 99-97 and 4 overall. So I cracked the 500 mark in the over and under, so that's a good thing about that part for this week. But it could be better. It could be worse. What can you do? Anyways, my thoughts about last week. The Thanksgiving Day games. Uh, hold on. No, Thanksgiving Day games went for, Dal for Dallas. I mean, I'm from, sorry. D Detroit and um, Chicago. I'm sorry. I was looking at last <laughs> this week's schedule. I mean, I, I have to say, David Brault, Brault from Detroit, despite the loss for Detroit, he kind of impressed me. I mean, he looked like he looked pretty good. So, I don't know. Now that Detroit's, I think Detroit's eliminated from the playoffs right now because of that. Let's just start him to see how he does for the rest of the year and go from that point. So, yeah, what can you do? Anyways, um, like uh, for the other Sunday nighter, I think uh, for that one, I uh, Buffalo and Dallas. Buffalo won. Just say that. And Jason Garrett still has his job. So, I don't know if J the, Jerry Jones has sympathy for him or not, but he needs to go. I don't really care. But anyways, let's move on. Saints and the Falcons, you know. Saints got their revenge against Atlanta like a few weeks ago. Way to go. So, anyways, I think go moving on. Sorry, I have my cat over here. So, the Packers and Giants, eh. Aaron Rodgers is back, just pretty much. The Redskins and Carolina, all right, I have to say this. How the hell do you lose to, to Washington? I'm sorry to say that. Oops. Hold on. I lost my, I lost my, um, my information here. I lost my information, I'm sorry. Hmm. Yeah, 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 okay. Anyways, how can Carolina lose to Washington? I mean, really, I mean, how can you? And because of that, Ron Rivera got fired, I think, from since yesterday. He, he was, like, ter terminated and things like that. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm like, what the hell? I mean, that's unreal. How can you be fired of that? I mean, I mean that's that's pretty bad, you know. I would say, but you know, but I think that was long overdue anyway. So I don't know, maybe, but who knows? So yeah, but yeah, that was kind of surprising on them. There was like nine upsets, I think. So yeah, yeah, just like and I'm uh, yeah, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers beating the Browns. You know, the Browns still in the hope in the playoff spot. Tennessee um, beating uh, Indianapolis. San Francisco losing in a tough loss against Baltimore, which not because of that. Now that the Ravens won, my Patriots lost on Sunday night. That gets them um, the um, home up. Uh, it gets the uh, number one scene in the AFC right now. And Philadelphia lost to Miami. Mm. And Cincinnati Bengals got the first win against the New York Jets, which is kind of surprising on that one. And the Jags, and uh, you know... The Jags, they are who they are. Jags go to show they have a backup. I need a backup quarterback. I'm sorry, my phone got knocked down. So, anyways, let's continue. The, the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Oakland Raiders. Chargers lo losing to the Broncos. This could be the end of Phillip Rivers, but who knows? And of course, like I mentioned, the Minnesota Vikings and well, like I mentioned about the Patriots. We'll get to them in a bit. The Vikings and Seahawks. Vikings had a tough battle against the Seahawks, but. Didn't pull all the way through. Yeah, what can you do? You know? Anyways, let's get on to my week um, week uh, 13 picks. Okay, let's uh, kick things off on our Thursday night as usual. Dallas and Chicago. Those two teams met. Those two teams played on Thanksgiving. Now they play each other against Chicago. Dallas is in a must-win situation, but it's in Chicago. They have to go all the way up north to do that. To beat uh, the Chicago Bears, but... What can you say about that? But, anyways, if Dallas wants to get in the playoffs, they have to win out. So, 
So I have to pick Dallas over the Chicago Bears in this one. Sorry, Mr. Trubisky. You're going to go back second again. On the line, though, the um, Dallas is favored by 2.5 in this game. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take Dallas minus 2.5. And, and over and under is 43. I'm going to go under 43 on this one. I think that's going to be a low-scoring game. All right. Carolina and Atlanta. Okay. The Panthers, like I mentioned, they fired Ron Rivera. Like I mentioned that. Now, because of that, Perry Farrell is going to be their intern coach. Maybe it's a coaching change process. Who knows? But one thing is for sure, that, that was a thing that was long overdue. I'm sorry. But that was long overdue to do that. They had to fire Ron Rivera. I mean, something had to, they had to do something. As Atlanta, yeah, this was a must win for Atlanta, too, if they want to keep their pride up, so... I'm thinking I'm going to choose with that one. I'm going to they keep their pride in this. I'm going to choose the pride team over the must-win situation for Carolina. So I'm going to take Atlanta over at over Carolina in Atlanta. On the line, Atlanta favored by three and three in this game. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take the minus three on that one. Over and under, it's 48. I'm going to go under 48. All right, Baltimore and Buffalo. Ugh, the the battle of supremacy right now. This is a must-win for both teams, really. Baltimore wants to keep their AFC hopes alive. And Buffalo, they want to try to keep the wildcard hopes alive. So I think it's going to be a tight one on this one. So anyways, Lamar Jackson, he's going to probably continue in his MVP run. As for Buffalo, they're going to try to stop him on defense. So anyways, I'm going to choose Baltimore over the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo. Because offensively, Buffalo's not the best. Defensively, they're good. On the line, Baltimore's favored by 5.5 in this game. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna hatch. I'm gonna. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna gamble on this one because I think it's gonna be a tight one. But I, I'm gonna gamble. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna take Baltimore minus five and a half. Over and under, it's forty three and a half. I'm gonna go under forty three and a half. The Battle of Ohio, Cincinnati and Cleveland. You know, Cincinnati got their first one. If I were Cincinnati, though, I would fight for a number one, uh, in number one seed in the draft. So that's what I'm gonna do. If I, that's what I would do if I'm Cincinnati. But anyways. I think um, I think that's what they're gonna do. And Cleveland's are trying to Cleveland. Has, they have a little fight in them though. I think they need to need to do something to keep their playoff hopes alive. So I'm gonna try to do that. This is the time of the year where people fight for playoffs. So that's what they're gonna do. So I think Cleveland. That's what they're gonna do. So I'm I'm gonna say Cleveland, Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns over the Cincinnati Bengals in Cleveland. On the line, Cleveland's favored by eight and a half in this game. At this point, why not? It's Cincinnati. I'm gonna take Cleveland minus eight and a half. Over and under, it's 40 and a half. I'm going to go under 40 and a half. Denver and Sint in Houston. You know, Denver, they have a, they just come up with a big win against um, their division rivals, the um, LA Chargers. I keep saying San Diego. I want to say that, but I don't think they're going back. But anyways, Denver, I think there's going to be, um, they're going to have a tight battle against Houston, which Houston um, kind of, de you know, um, defensively, they played well against my Patriots. So... At this point for um, Houston, it's a must win for them to get the South. So I'm going to try to get Houston over um, the Denver Broncos as Denver try to fight for pride right now. On the line, though, Houston's favored by 9.5 in this game. That's my too many points. I think it's going to be a close game. So I'm going to take uh, Denver's side of that. Denver plus 9.5. Over and under, it's 41. I'm going to go 41.5. Detroit and Minnesota. A must win for Minnesota. They had a big loss against... Um, uh, they had a big loss against the um, you know, Seattle Seahawks on Monday night. They have to bounce back to keep their wild card hopes alive because that's where they, the only place they can do that right now. So at this point, might as well do it. You know, Detroit on the other hand, they're probably fight for pride too. So they at least get a win under their belt. You know, make anyone happy. So so anyways, I think I'm gonna go the Vikings on this one in Minnesota against the Detroit Lions on the line. The yeah. On the line, though, the Vikings are favored by 13 and a half point favorites. That's eh, too many points for that one. I can't do that. So I'm going to take Detroit. I mean, plus 13 and a half. Over and under, it's 42. I'm going to take over 42. But before I continue, if I were Detroit, play David uh, David Blau at this point, you know? Just play him out. I mean, he was loved in the last week. Everyone loved his performance. At this point, might as well to use him, you know? You never know. Yeah, at this point, just try it out. Just go for it. You have nothing left to lose at this point. Try Javon Blau out. Maybe he's maybe he could be the starting quarterback next year. Who knows? 
But, anyways, Washington and Green Bay. Washington got a big win last week. So did the Packers. So I think this is a must win for situation for them right now. So, anyways, I think going into that one, I think we're looking at probably one who's playing for pride, one who's playing for the division. So the division one's gonna have to win. So I'm gonna and it's the Washington Redskins at this point. There's no one else better than that. So, anyways, I think a high school team can beat the Redskins. Yeah, possibly that's how bad the Redskins are. So, anyways, I'm gonna take the Green Bay Packers over the Washington Redskins in Wash in um, Green Bay. On the line, though, the Redskins, I mean, the Packers are favored by 13 and a half, 13 in this game. At this point, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take the Packers minus 13. Over and under, it's 42. I'm going to go under 42. All right, Indianapolis and um, and the Tampa Bay Bucks. This is a must-win situation for the um, Indianapolis Colts to keep the wild card hopes alive. And Tampa Bay, meh. They're trying to fight for pride. I don't think they're going to make it. So, at this point, they got to do something. They got a good win against Jacksonville, but that's Jacksonville. So, anyways, I think Jacoby Brissett, he's going to fight for a playoff spot. So, I think he's going to outperform the Bucs in this one. So, I'm going to take the Colts over the Tampa Bay Bucs in Tampa. On the line, though, the Colts are favored. I mean, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are favored by three in this game. I'm going to take the um, Indianapolis Colts plus three. Over and under is 47.5. I think this can go over, I think. I'm going to go over 47.5. Miami and the New York Jets. A division rival game. I mean, the New York Jets, they say they want to win out. They can get their playoff hopes. But at this point, they got to have to do that. They had to go through Miami. That's an easy one for them. Miami, I don't know. I think they're going to play for a draft pick or something. So, like I mentioned, like the Redskins, a high school team can beat them too. So, I, could, I would have to say the New York Jets over the Miami Dolphins in New York. On the line, though, the... Jets are favored by five and a half in this game. This can go there. I'm gonna go the Miami Dol I mean the New York Jets, minus five and a half. Over and under it's forty-four. I'm gonna go under forty-four. The San Francisco 49ers and the New Orleans Saints. You know, at this thing, I think at this thing, I, it's a defensive game. You know, not everyone it's a defensive battle. I really think it is, but you know, Drew Brees can have a slow day, but he hasn't faced a defense like the 49ers. In fact, a few weeks ago. When Atlanta it beat the Falcons, they kind of looked like the defensively they looked pretty good. So maybe that's good. I think that's what it come down to that defensively. So so that's why I think I'm gonna pick an upset in this one because I no offense to Drew Brees, defensively I don't know what they're gonna do. Offensively I don't know what they're gonna do with that team uh, defense. I mean that's it, off defense. They haven't played a defense like them before so far. So so anyways I'm gonna take the San Francisco 49ers. Against over the New Orleans Saints. That's one of my upsets. On the line, though, the, the uh, Saints are favored by two and a half of this game. I'm taking the 49ers side of that. I'm going to take the 49ers plus two and a half. Over and under, it's 44 and a half. I'm going to go over 44 and a half. The LA Chargers and the Jacksonville Jaguars. You know, at this point, I think the Jags are probably going to be out in the playoffs. Anthony um, Lynn's probably going to think about it. another quarterback coming in. I think Philip Rivers is done at this point, you know. At this point for Jacksonville, you know, you know, put in Jinder Mishu. I mean, at, at this point, you know, Nick Foles not going to get you anywhere. So I might as well just put him, put him in there. Why not? No Foles magic. Sorry, Jacksonville. So, so, but I'm going to hedge my bets and I'm going to take you to win anyway. So I'm going to take Jacksonville. Over the LA Chargers. On the line, though, the Jacksonville Jaguars are. I mean, the Chargers are favored by three in this game. I'm taking Jacksonville side, Jacksonville plus three. Over and under, it's 43. I'm going under 43. The Tennessee Titans and the Oakland Raiders. Tennessee's in a must win situation right now. They have to win out to be, get in the playoffs. So I think Tennessee's going to probably do that. And Oakland, might as well play for whatever you got left. I think this could be their second to last game in Oakland before they move to Vegas next year. So I'm going to say, I think I'm going to win and save that another one for over there. So their last, official last home game. So I'm going to take the Tennessee Titans over the Oakland Raiders in Oakland. On the line, though, the Raider, the uh, Titans are favored by three in this game. I'm taking the Titans minus three. Over and under, it's 47.5. I'm going to go under 47.5. The Chiefs and the Patriots. Probably the game of the week, I would say. 
and it's in Foxborough. And I have to tell you this, I love the Patriots so dearly in this. I, I'm a diehard Patriots fan before Brady and Belichick got along, came along back in Super Bowl 31 or something when they had their Super Bowl run with Parcells and Bledsoe when they lost to the Packers, and I haven't been in the Patriots fan since. But I got to say this. This offense for Tom Brady this year, I don't trust them this year. Offensively, they can't do anything. I mean, their wide receivers are not connecting their routes right. Brady's open throwing them. There's no protection for Brady. I mean, there's nothing. Defensively, special teams are very good. Offensively, they have to work on it. They still can't figure it out. And that's going to be a big problem. In this one. But Patrick Mahomes, maybe... Maybe he could do something with them. He's probably thinking of redemption from last year, too. So, uh, possibly that could happen. But, it's possible. Possible, but I think it is. I think it is possible. I hate to tell you this. I hate, I don't trust that offense, and that's going to hurt them to lose against Kansas City. I hate to do this, but I'm going to pick the Kansas City Chiefs against my New England Patriots this week because I can't trust that offense so much. I can't. I mean, they're... There's so much lacking in that. I can't even figure it out. I'm like, thinking, you got to be kidding me. I'm like, what the hell? So, anyways. So, I think Patrick Mahomes is going to have a field day with that deep, with my Patriots defense. Ugh. So, anyways. I, it's going to be a tight game. I really do, I really believe that. So, so anyways. But, I'm going to, on the line, though, like I mentioned, like, the Chiefs over the Patriots this week, I think. I hate to do that, but, you know what? I don't have faith in that offense. I really don't. But it could be the end of Brady Belichick era. Maybe Brady's going to retire. I don't know. You could just see it. You're just like, what the hell is going on? But anyways, let's continue on the against the spread. The Patriots are favored by three in this game. I'm taking the Chiefs plus three. Over and under, it's 48 and a half. I'm going 48 and a half. But man, I, I'm going to go over that. But still, I don't trust that offense. But anyways, Pittsburgh and Arizona. Pittsburgh's trying to fight for a wild card spot. Arizona playing for pride. You know, it's in Arizona. So, hey, what can you say? You know, but at this point for Pittsburgh, you know, you got to win out. I don't care if Big Ben's not playing. I don't care who's your starting quarterback. Which I think Devlin Hostage will be the Steelers quarterback against the Cardinals, which I think. All I know is Mason Rudolph is basically done for the year after that big fight. What do you have against Cleveland a number of weeks ago? Which he should have got suspended for that, but I'm not here to judge. But anyways, I think But if they're going to win, Pittsburgh's going to have to win out. So they have to win this game. So I think Pittsburgh's going to go to Arizona and beat the Arizona Cardinals in this one. So I'm going to choose the Pittsburgh Steelers again over the Arizona Cardinals. On the line, though, Steelers are favored by 2.5 in this game. I like that. I, I, like, I trust the Steelers' defense, so I'm going to take the Steelers. Minus two and a half. Over and under, it's 43 and a half. I'm going to go under 43 and a half. Sunday night football. The LA Rams and the Seattle Seahawks. The battle of the division. So anyway, Seattle needs to win to keep their wild card hopes alive. And possibly a division. You never know. So, Seattle. I I have the trust in their Seattle lately. So, they won at home, which is good. They needed to do that, which they did. So I'm going to take Seattle over the Rams in LA. Yeah, it's kind of one of my upsets, technically. On the line, though, the Rams are favored by uh, one in this game. Well, so, I'm going to, I mean, I'm sorry, the Seattle Seahawks are favored by one. So, I'm going to take Seattle minus one. Over and under, it's 46 and a half. I'm going to go over 46 and a half. Seattle needs to win. They need to win out to get a wild card spot or a division. They need to do that. So, this is the time to do it now. So, all right, and of course, the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles on Monday Night Football. You know, at this point, Philadelphia needs to win. If they want to win that division, it's an, it's an open ice. The division's wide open between Dallas and um, and um, Philadelphia. Somebody's got to win that division. So, at this point, Philadelphia's going to take the win, which I do believe they play next week. Hold on. Nope, I'm sorry. Two weeks from now. My bad. So, it's week 16 they play. So, anyways. The Eagles play the Redskins next week, next week, so I apologize. So, anyways, I think this. Yeah, anyways, um, Carson Wentz and the Eagles, they still need to win. So, I'm gonna take the the Philadelphia Eagles against the New York Giants to win this game. They have to win out because the Giants are already out. On the line, though, 
the um, the Eagles are favored by nine in this game. Why not? I'm gonna take the Eagles minus nine. Minus nine at this point they stink, but they gotta win. Over and under it's 47. I'm gonna go over 47. Okay, shoutouts this week. It's a special shoutout this week to my good old buddy Gavin O'Connor, who is on. I believe he's gone, or I forget his. I'm gonna put his um screen on there so you can see that. So, anyways, uh, the reason why I'm doing that because it's his birthday today. So, happy birthday, Gavin! So, hope you're having a great birthday today. So, until then, to check him out, you know, and check out the rest of the NFL YouTube prognosticators down below. Until then, once again, happy birthday, Gavin! Hope you're having a great day. Until then. This is Andrew Warren, signing off. Peace.